NVIDIA has done a great job creating not only the fastest single chip video card on the market, but also making sure their legacy lives on. With brands like Ferrari or Lamborghini, you instantly think of their legendary F40 or Diablo supercars. In the world of video cards, that name is Titan. Yes, the new Titan X is the fastest single GPU video card in the world. However, one major difference between the new Titan X and the previous Titans is the double precision floating point performance. The original Titan was known for having the best high resolution gaming card, but with enough dedicated hardware that it was also suitable as an entry level workstation card. Since many scientific applications and 3D rendering programs require fast floating point computation, the Titan became the only single card in the world that could do both. However, the Titan X has now shed all of that. The dedicated hardware on the core for double precision floating point is gone, but Nvidia has focused their efforts on the consumer level of things. With the same 28 nanometer manufacturing process as other Maxwell chips, we now have a total of 3072 CUDA cores, 192 texture units, and 96 ROPs. The card has 12 gigs of RAM and a base clock of 1000 MHz. Now, since it is a Maxwell card, we are expecting some pretty good overclocking results, but more on that later. The power consumption stays the same as the previous cards coming in at 250 watts. Now the design of the card hasn't changed much. In fact, it makes a better Titan Black than the Titan Black did. However, we do see a major improvement in terms of I.O. with one DVI dual link, one HDMI 2.0, and three DisplayPort 1.2 outputs. There is a limit of four displays, but a configuration like this means you could theoretically output to a 4K TV through HDMI and three high refresh rate G-Sync monitors all at once. Maybe we should do that. In fact, leave a comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. Since the cooler and TDP are same as the old Titan, the temperatures we see are similar. In our studio with an ambient temperature at 19 degrees, we sit at 26 degrees idle and hit a peak of 62 degrees under load. And that leads us to the most important part of the video card, the performance. We know the card will give us a bazillion FPS in 1080p with 12 gigs of RAM. We know it's aiming for good 4K performance, so that's what we'll focus on. Anthony threw it on our test bench, which has an Intel i7-5820 processor, 16 gigs of G-Scale DDR4 RAM, an MSI X99SM power motherboard, a Corsair AX1500i power supply, and this custom purple Ryzen Tech heatsink. How do we have a purple heatsink? Well, Anthony painted it himself. Subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on our heatsink modding guide that's coming soon. For games, we'll be looking at Battlefield 4, Far Cry 4, and one that's especially RAM heavy, Shadow of Mordor. Since this is a freaking Titan, we'll look at maximum quality. Duh. Now, since it is a Maxwell card, we are expecting some pretty good gains. We didn't have time to run all the benchmarks overclocked, but Anthony did do a before and after in Fire Strike Ultra. He was able to hit a maximum clock speed of 1440 MHz or an increase of 44%. 44%. Now, at the time of filming, that's the ninth fastest single card on Fire Strike Ultra Hall of Fame and that's stock voltage with stock cooler. Once people start getting water blocks and tinkering with the voltage, there's no telling how far the Titan X can overclock. And that about wraps it up. It's sad to see the double precision flops go down, but with over 3000 CUDA cores, it's still an amazing solution for most power users out there. We know the Titan X isn't the best price to performance ratio card, but it's not supposed to be. Yes, two GPUs may be cheaper and perform better, but in the end, that's still two discrete chips. The Titan X is a single chip that is able to keep up with two, and that's pretty amazing in our book. Plus, anyone who's done SLI or Crossfire before knows the difficulty and troubleshooting involved. Not every game out there supports multiple GPU profiles, and many applications certainly don't. You don't buy a Ferrari because it's a good bargain and gets decent mileage to the grocery store. You buy it so you can have the best. And the Titan X does just that. That's it for this video guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX and leave a comment down below, why do you think the second T in our Titan X fell off? So Anthony took the Titan X and threw it on our test bench, in fact he threw it on so hard the second T in the Titan fell off. Our test bench has... <laughs>